Rock climbing really is a foundational adventure activity at Yellow Breaches. It just provides the perfect opportunity for students to work on key pillars like courage, effort, and trust. So we really go to West Virginia at the perfect time. It's peak fall foliage. As you get closer, the Appalachian Mountains get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you start to see some really unique rock outcroppings, the fins that make you know, the Seneca rock trip so unique. So at Yellow Breaches, in order for us to do the multi-pitch climbing at Seneca Rocks, our instructors have to have the AMGA certifications to be able to instruct in that environment. And so not only do they have to have the real technical skills to be able to instruct through the AMGA, but they also have to have the ability to work with our student-specific challenges that they'll be overcoming on their way up. Through Yellow Breaches, it's a progression. They start in the classroom, learning how to use the equipment, the climbing harnesses. They learn all the knots in the adventure classroom, so they actually get classes on that and they have to show proficiency in all of those. The group that we take down there has the foundation and is able to meet these basic expectations and have this basic level of, of climbing skills. I like to tell groups like, it's totally okay and 100% normal to feel scared. At some point today, you'll probably feel scared. Take a breath. Go through the mental checklist in your head of all the things you're gonna have on to keep you safe, like your helmet, your harness, right? The people like you're with. Rock climbing is a, it's a perceived risky environment, but it's actually quite safe with all the equipment that we use and the training that our instructors have. Intentionality is a word I wanna talk a lot about this week. Be intentional about your communication. If you need something, talk to somebody. <coughs> Say, hey, I'm feeling this way right now. I need a moment, or like, can you help me through it? The students will get to push themselves a lot. They have to be able to show the ability to push past that anxiety and that fear a little bit. Yeah, I love rock climbing, but this is my first time, and I don't know how to feel about it. I love challenges. I think it's going to be fun, and it will help me build my self-esteem. The next section is going to be more of a scramble. I don't think it's as physically demanding because it's not the same step over and over again, but you guys will need to be on point. If you fall here, it's fourth class scrambling, it, it will hurt, okay? You could get injured, so pay attention, be very intentional about every step, so pay attention to what your surroundings and what you're doing. I go up, and then the second student comes up, unclips their rope from the gear, clips the second student's rope in. They come up, I secure them into the anchor. The third student comes up, and cleans the gear out of the rock. I'm gonna have these in probably about at that, and there's gonna be some cracks where if you, when you take this out, push it in, it'll go the whole way, mm -hmm. and then you will not be able to get that out. You can see all the ledges and bumps. There's gonna be some spots where I put it in and you won't be able to pull it out. You just might have to slide it like down and pull it out. When you're climbing, you're, I'm gonna have an anchor built, and you're gonna climb on my anchor. Okay. You'll come up, oh, you do you unclip do your rope, from this, and you're gonna reach down and clip her rope into it. But like, what do I do if I can't? You get on the walkie talkie and say, fresh, I need help. So that's press the talk. Yep. I What makes it challenging is the newness of it, the height, the exposure. There's always risks. I mean, climbing, even if you're doing the simplest top roping in a gym, there's risks. Our job as teachers is to mitigate as much of that risk as possible. We have system checks, we have commands, we communicate constantly. They have to trust in the instructors that the instructors will be able to get them up and then back down safely. I just need to calm myself down. But mainly I'm nervous because I have to be in the back and I'm scared. like this. It's uncomfortable on my comfort zone. So I got you on the rope. You can even sit back for a second if you want and hang on the rope. We are really high. 
off the ground. Whoa. I don't trust it. You got it. I got you. Nice. We give the students the opportunity to take what they've been introduced to and take it to a whole nother level. Where we're sitting, we're probably, I don't know, 250 feet off the ground. So we had to come up three pitches. We're gonna hike to the true summit of Seneca. It's a big deal for the, for the students. We do this once a year, and it's our, our high-end adventure level three trip. It's a step up in the progression. It's as, about as high level as you can get on the East Coast for rock climbing. That was awesome. How was that? I'm so proud of myself. Woo! Keep going. Well, we have yes. to rappel down this thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so fun. But it's, it's like so super scary, scary when you like go off the edge. Oh, my God. Awesome. Repelling requires a lot of physical demands, but it's also you have to really stay in control of your mind and your body as well. It's very easy to look around and get really scared and even panic a little bit just because of what you're actually doing. But there, all of our preparation, all of our training, and all of the uh, teaching that we've done has prepared the students to be able to really stay in control of their mind, think through the steps that they have to do to be able to get down safely and then execute those steps in order to, to have a safe rappel down to the bottom. Give me an iPod, all right. Yeah, that's, that's much safer, thank you. Whatever that's... Uh, The Via Ferrata is a very unique way to experience rock climbing. It's so far outside of anything that we do on a normal basis. The experience that you get, the feeling that you get is absolutely amazing and actually seeing that in the student's eyes and how they're dealing with it, whether it's the fear, whether it's the accomplishment, it's incredible. They can access the same exposure as they would do in some traditional multi-pitch climbing. It's okay to be nervous and to be scared, but as long as everything else is okay and they start to climb, you know, the students really have sh already shown the ability to overcome the challenges that they're gonna face up on the rock wall. Got it. And whether it's going halfway up the rock, whether it's going all the way up the rock, or whether it's going all multiple pictures of the rock, it's just an awesome accomplishment for each thing. The same things that they're using in these experiences translates. You're gonna have more moments in life that terrify you. You can work through that. There's a lot of pride that comes with that which then can transfer into real life. Self-efficacy, the belief in yourself, that you can accomplish things and you can do things that are scary. Go on it. You got it? It makes me nervous. I don't know, doing stuff like this is just Makes life worth living. It's going great. Have a good time? Love this.
little bit. That's great. Oh my lord. The bridge is a very unique challenge because you're up a couple hundred feet above the ground and as you're walking across the wood planks, you can see right down. As they get out there, you can see there's some anxiety and some fear as they're crossing, but as they go and they get kind of comfortable with their footing, you'll see that they'll get a boost in their confidence. And then as they approach the other side, you can just see that it's amazing that they just did, and you can see it on their face. Oh, that was scary. Ah, awesome! Take a few minutes or a few seconds here to think about what you did today. Like, it's pretty incredible. I feel great. Accomplished. I feel proud. I feel proud, and I feel very powerful. I feel good. Adventurous and brave. I feel accomplished.